How to deal with the classroom discipline. A dedicated and passionate teacher knows that before a lesson plan and a diagnostic test are made, he or she must produce a classroom management plan. And why is this so vital in the world of teaching? Many personalities in one class. The teacher's classroom is full of vibrant personalities. These are individuals who have unique attitudes and behavior, which are developed at their respective homes and enhanced from their environment. Often these personalities are in their comfort zone totally accepted by the people that surround them. But when these personalities are put in a box with unknown individuals, clashes and problems arise in the classroom providing a huge amount of headache and stress from the teacher. The classroom management plan designed by the teacher will prevent this unpleasant scenario to take place in the classroom, or to minimize the impact it would cause. So how does a teacher make his or her classroom management plan? What factors have to be considered in creating a classroom management plan that will safeguard the teacher's and student's mental and emotional health? Get your students familiar with the rules. First, the teacher needs to familiarize the school rules and guidelines for discipline procedures. The teacher then will base his or her own classroom rules from this. These set of classroom rules with corresponding discipline procedures need to be relayed to the school principal, parents, and to the students. Teachers must involve the parents as well as the students in developing his or her classroom management. By doing this the teacher is building a relationship of trust and respect. Consistency and fairness should be considered in implementing these rules. One important factor that a teacher needs to consider in disciplining the students is his or her ability to listen and investigate the problem. Quick judgment will lead to disrespect and distress from the students. There are situations that the rules are bent, but should not compromise the integrity of the entire school policy as well as the teachers. In cases like this, the teacher needs to explain as to the reasons why this has to happen. Communication between teachers and students is of the utmost importance in building and developing a student-teacher relationship. It promotes trust, respect, and confidence in the classroom, and promotes healthy and inspiring learning for the students. Give love. Discipline in the classroom should be carried out with love. It should not change the students' personalities. Instead it should provide them a deeper understanding of who they are, and provides growth to becoming a better individual. Disciple in the classroom is a catalyst for students to evaluate the good and the bad things about themselves, and eventually helps them to decide to make better changes. In this way change is not forced. Do you want to teach English abroad? Take a TEFL course today. With the right implementation of discipline rules and procedures, the teacher creates a learning environment where growth is welcome. In this kind of environment, the teachers and students are aware of their weaknesses and strengths and eventually creates a support system among themselves. It is with this support system that the students develop, that will lead them to become responsible citizens in their country. It will aid them to become better parents. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.